everyone, and welcome back to another Desmos Grab tutorial. So uh, this time we are going to, going to uh, add some thickness to our logo. So first we're going to start with the circle right here. And what we can do is we can just add another circle of the thickness that we want. So, so last week I showed you that <clears throat> if you want to Want to draw a circle instead of the origin because that's the easiest. Let's write x squared plus y squared, and that's equal to the the square of the radius. So, um, so I'm gonna try a few numbers. So if you try five, five squared, and for me that is looking being a, a bit too thick, so I can make it slightly less thick. So, so now this circle is only a half unit thick. Now comes the harder part, which is, I mean, while it's true that, that we can just add another line right next to it, um, I looked at a Mercedes logo and what it does is it starts from the same point, then we go out and when it hits over here, <clears throat> sorry, and this thickness is half. So we can, what we can do is we can put, uh, let me change this, is, is um, we can put a temporary point where we want the line to be. So this, this is half the thickness. I want this to be 0 0.25 so that when we move this out, we have one quarter here and one quarter here, and that, and that makes our half. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put over negative one over four. It's going to be right here, and and over here we're going to do, we're going to do something very similar. Okay, so we know the line over here. The point over here is x0 and y4. So all we need to do is find a line that goes through these two points. So to do that, so first we need to find what the slope of the line needs to be. So, so we can do, so the horizontal distance is 1 fourth. And the vertical distance is four, so which means the slope has to be four times four, which is six, 16. So we have y equals 16 x. I'm gonna move up four units. And as for uh, the boundaries, I'm gonna use y boundaries. If you're using x, if you're using x, it's a negative one fourth, or to zero, and this this will be very helpful for us when we start coloring. So, <coughs> so uh, let's stick with that for now. Um, okay, and as for the next line. Come and think of it. We can use an absolute value function. Let's give this a try. An absolute value function now is it's a, it's a metric on the center, so we can just do y equals equals it. sixteen x plus four. There you go, and then we have the two lines that go to these two points. And, and uh, since we're using x limits, because that's going to be the most helpful for us, x limits is going to be from negative one fourth to one fourth. Okay, and then the next line that we need to find is the one that goes from. 
this point, take it over one fourth, comma zero. And over here, which is this is not a nice x value right here. This is yeah, negative three point four six four. You know what? Um, I want to look around to see if there's a way to see if there's like a better way to draw a line to these two points. Um, yeah, uh, I want to do this. The uh, I'm going to do this how I, I how we did before, which is just draw a line. Um, so the it's not too hard. So we need the vertical length, which is negative two, and then the horizontal length. We'll just get from here negative three point four six four. These two positives can divide each other up, and we use the better point, which is. Out of one fourth, okay, and then we need to think about what our wide intercept is going to be. It's definitely not as nice as what we think it is. This is where calculations are going to get really nasty. I figure, why, why can I just do this? Because the horizontal shift is one fourth and the vertical shift is zero. So yeah, um, I want to look around for for a way to do this. Um, our numbers are right, but they don't but they don't pair up with each other. So uh, I'll, I'll, so uh, so yeah, I'll I'll be right back and let you know what I find. All right. So it turns out that we can just give the name of these two points and and just have them draw a line through it through a table. So so um. So we just add a table, and then and we just write negative three point four six four, uh, and next negative three point four six four. This is negative two, and when this is the one fourth, this is going to be zero, and then and uh, we can go to edit. Set this to be a line. So, so the points went away, and all we have is a line. This will, as convenient as it is, this will come back to get us when when we we try to color these two points in. So we'll still have to find the equation, but this is this is a very temporary fix because is to find the equation of this line. That goes to these two points takes a bit of extra time. Uh, and for and for the next line, because do whoop, I don't want a folder. And we'll do 